Hi, you guys. I'm here with Theo Avgerinos, and Theo is the director of 50 Pills that just premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival. It is a great movie. Um, Theo, you and I met about how long ago? Uh, I want to say about three years ago or so. Uh, we met back on a short film that uh, you were directing, that I came in to do some DP work, some editing work. And uh, that's it, that collaboration started with uh, kind of like-minded minds in terms of what we wanted to do. Sex and the Green Card is where, uh, where it all began. Right, right. And now you've been working on, um, on putting together 50 pills for about how long? I'd say about, it started about a year and a half ago. Uh, you know, cl actually close to two years at the end of this uh, spring. So we shot a year from this past Christmas and fall. Uh, I spent a while in, in post, you know, getting all the music together and a lot of things that had to be finished and, and before we had our locked picture. And then Tribeca and, and, and now we're here. So. And I remember because we were working on cutting together the Mastering the Audition DVD and all of a sudden here came 50 Pills and so you were working on both at the same time. And, um, and so you got to see some things that were going on within Mastering the Audition and then you got to see actors come in and audition for you. So tell me a little bit about what you saw in the process when the actors came in that were um, things that, that threw the actors in the audition process. Say again about through the actors? Um, through the actors in the audition process? Would, did you see things that threw actors off when they came in the room? Yeah, I mean, I think the main thing that, that uh, when you audition someone, and make, they make you feel uncomfortable when they're just not confident and they're not prepared. So every time we saw someone uh, who just was probably a little bit, uh, didn't have the confidence level that you kind of, you really need in an actor from the beginning and had a little bit of a lack of preparation in what they were bringing to the role in that scene, that's the immediate sign of having that unpreparedness, so. So let me get this right. The fact that they weren't prepared and confident made the people in the room feel uncomfortable. Correct. And from that point on, you kind of you start writing them off from the very beginning, actually. From the beginning of the audition? Yeah. In the beginning, you can tell if this is someone that you want or not. And a lot of it's confidence and uh, preparedness that comes across immediately. Wow, wow. That's incredible. So what were the things that you saw in the actors, um, in the actors that you chose? What did you see in them that made you say, that's it? I think a lot with uh, film acting, which would be somewhat different to some degree from theater acting, is that the, there's a natural confidence in the personality that they bring. Now this might be themselves naturally to some degree, or a persona that they walked into the room with, uh, looking at the character that they studied. So when they walked into the room and you felt them, you felt that they were this character, that was the biggest difference. and that. That's something you can't fake, that they walked into it, they were that person, they, they came in, they left that way, and they didn't break so much between like, you know, hi, I'm an actor and I'm going to put on a scene. All of a sudden, I jump into the scene. They kind of come in, the, the entire process, you get a sense of them being uh, pretty comfortable within their own skin as a person, uh, as an actor, and then, of course, the next step with the, the role that they're doing. So. That's it. When they come in, you kind of know. You can feel it. It's in the room. It's in the air. Now, that's interesting to me. When you say you can feel it, it's almost like you can physically feel as they're coming in the room, what they're doing, their emotions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They, they come, they, there's a, whenever people talk about screen presence uh, in, in film and for actors, that starts with someone walking into the room at an audition tape. They have, that screen presence is already in the room. So you can tell when something is going to be put up on film or TV or wherever it is that that's going to come across uh, the lens because it comes across to us, you know, off the bat in a, in a dingy little theater room or wherever we're doing the audition. It, you can just, it, you feel it. If you can feel it there, you, it'll get magnified on the screen. Well, you had an incredible cast here today and the response of the audience was outrageous. They were clapping and cheering and laughing and a lot of that seemed to, uh, to, to be because of the chemistry that the cast had on, uh, on screen. Um, how do you put together that kind of chemistry? You're sitting in a room and you see all of these different people walk in and they've never actually been on stage together, but you put them together and suddenly there's magic. How do you do that? 
you got to trust the casting process uh, and finding the right people that you feel will, will mix. Um, that's the first part of it, just getting a sense of their, their personalities, their characters, what they bring to it, and, and trusting that that's going to work and that they'll have some balance and also have some friction that'll, that'll be good. And uh, then you work on it. You know, you have people get to know each other, get to know their styles of working, uh, explore their characters, and, and, and go as far as you can between the actors to, uh, to create that interaction. And, and sometimes uh, a lot of the actors we had, we didn't, we didn't need to do a whole lot of that. They were just kind of natural that, you know, these, the, all the well-trained actors, which, you know, made up our film, they, they brought that already, so that's kind of understood. So it wasn't so much directing them into the roles, but uh, letting just kind of finessing the roles and their interaction between each other, you know, with them. And, and sometimes uh, less is more on that because it becomes real all of a sudden in uh, the first or the last take when you least force it, you know. Everything else you force. The camera angles, the editing, that's all. Mm -hmm. You're in there and you're, you're choosing it. But uh, the performances, you're going to have to let, you have to let them happen and grow. Now, nobody knows mastering the audition better than you but me. <laughs> You've been with it as long as I have, pretty much. Yeah. Now, having been through um, the casting process and having watched actors come in that had it and those that didn't, how does what you've seen of mastering the audition resonate with you? I mean, mastering the audition is the Bible for actors. That's it. Whatever I heard and the way uh, the content and uh, the message and uh, the lessons and also the, the motivation, all that stuff needs to be in people's heads, you know, before, during, and after an audition. It's, it's really a, it's, it's more than a workbook or um, I just read it's an actor's Bible, I think, to have that knowledge because there's so much competition. There's so many actors who are going in and out of auditions every day. You need an edge, and uh, if you're not coming off of, you know, possibly a, a sports celebrity gig or a modeling, or if you're not filtering your career from somewhere else that you're bringing it, and you can't really buy your way into that business either, you have to have an edge, and you got to be more prepared than the, the ten people behind you. So, with mastering the audition, just the the content, the motivation factor behind it, it's it's something that uh, should be more than just a work with. It should be. Um, unnecessary. A prerequisite for any audition. It'd make the director's job a lot harder then, because you probably have too many good people auditioning and you're like, oh man, how am I going to choose? But that's, a, that's a high class problem to have. A good well, we hope that for your next film. This is Theo Avgerinos, the director of 50 Pills. We're at the Tribeca Film Festival 2006. Exciting movie, exciting times. From mastering the audition, your bridge to stardom.